Hello everybody, Jet here and welcome to my Albion playthrough now, formerly Britannia, before that Iceni, so yeah, things are going well, apparently we have some starving, oh we've got some scorned families, nobody important though so I don't care, apparently we have some starving pops somewhere and I just closed that one so I don't know where, oh we have pirates! Why do the pirate ships look so much bigger than my- Oh, I don't have morale on for my ships. Let's not do that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's put my fleet maintenance back up before I get to do that. Some disloyal provinces, they are mostly gaining loyalty. That's not too worrying. We've got some unassigned titles. Ooh. Uh, Yep, you can get that, so that's the extra loyalty, well, impact on our legitimacy. Legitimacy basically is how legitimate my claim to the throne is, so the higher that is, obviously, the better. And, ooh, actually, we didn't want a good. He's still dead soon. And we are actually missing a trade route. Uh... Hang on, let's have a little different look at the trade interface here, so, um... Where is it? Trade, 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 trade. Because can I move stuff around in my nation? So, for example, down here... We need to get a surplus of iron here so we can actually trade it. Uh, how many slaves? I need 14 slaves. I can't do that at the moment, but we have a lot of slaves just here. Can I move them that fast? I can, and moving them does not cost much because they're slaves. I want to get ourselves that, uh... That potentially is making this place not particularly happy, but now we should actually have a surplus of slaves. Now, where to put them? Somewhere which is well and truly in our power. What? Ah, oh, because I lack the power. But now, we... we built ourselves a, um, a surplus so we can now trade that which will bring mean we'll be able to actually build heavy infantry down here which will be quite nice let's just keep an eye on this province though because I've also potentially um, as you know that balance isn't too bad the balance here is not great though that said a lot of these guys let's have a look yeah so a lot of them aren't I seen um, in fact they're mostly Gallic which is probably what's causing us the problem, so I probably want to do some assimilation at some point, but that reminds me I also need to be doing this, so... I'm going to go for oratory first, because we've got one here which is really good for having ourselves in other places. Wrong culture group happiness, wrong culture happiness, so um, we'll go for 15% wrong culture group happiness. go for, oh, we can't quite go for a civic ID yet, but we'll get through those others as we can. That, that should pull the happiness up in a lot of my places and make these guys a bit happier as time goes on. Um... Well, most of them are from my culture group. Um... But yeah, the legislative reform will help where we don't have the majority control. So it will help keep people a bit happier in these, are these areas which aren't Iceni. Long run, I probably do still want to do a bit more Iceniization, but that can wait for now. Um, you guys can come and uh, batter their, those pirates. I don't have the power though. 
I'm intrigued as to why my ships are so much smaller than their ships, but... A female druid coming from the outskirts says da 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 Oh, wow. Banish them, we don't gain any negative for it. Ooh, one of our leaders has died. Um, heavy infantry buffs there, and elephants. So yeah, you can get in there, because that's got a lot of heavies. That will really help us. I can't wait to be able to actually build heavy infantry down here. That's also going to be quite useful. Our manpower is growing now, but I had, did have to strip quite a bit of my... Um, military away to get that growing so while it's growing i probably you know i wouldn't be able, even be able i wouldn't be able to get the same level of military i had oh, look at my civilization so my civilization is growing up in these places oh somebody else has died we just seem to have constant people dying at the moment um yeah, yeah they're both on civilization efforts which is also yes so these are no longer barbarian strongholds. So actually, I don't necessarily need to keep this army here. Um, though it's probably worth having two armies in Britannia. But we'll move you down somewhere a bit central. Hmm. Saxonia is big. We have a new, the old emperor has died. Long live the new emperor, who is really good actually. So he is much better. Um, the gods are weeping over. Gladius, Gerdius Elotovis, the paragon. This is Cassivellianus, Cassivellanus. Okay, let's pause while this happens. Um, we've obviously advanced, we've got the new emperor. Uh, obviously we've had stability drop. Um, oh! So these are the pretenders. Because we don't actually have a direct heir at the moment. Well, he is the main heir. Um, he would straight up become the next successor. Um, yeah, we're already married and we... We have a child, so why is that child not the heir? Hmm. We'll find out. Maybe it's because he's still too young. Oh, and we need to assign a new governor because my guy was the governor of here. Uh, we'll just go for the higher level person. I don't care about that pretender support for the moment. Because none of them are real heirs. And we didn't get any of the other guys popping up um, as big pretenders, which I have to deal with at all, which is good. And all of this... Oh my god, why can't I have had those buffs earlier? Iron. There we go. And we've got a new military tradition, we are just pushing down this one, so buffs our archers and light infantry and forests. Hmm, we can't actually trade anything else here. Obviously that's changed what all of my uh, provinces have had, but... We're still doing well, our income is still great. And we are getting so much, these are all going up so much faster from our, our Lord now. Now that is so much faster, I wish I'd had that a bit back. Uh, let us, oh, I can't stab a pig just yet. The real question is, where to target next? Uh, they only have one ally. 
but they have lots of allies. Oh no, they don't. And they're not in a defensive league. So I could take a chunk out of there. Or push down the coast there. Capturing there, then pushing out here would be good. Uh, help us. Um, Achoria is growing, are they? They are now a major power. Macedon is definitely, if it's not a major power, it's well on its way to being a major power. Yes, so major powers are coming out of the woodwork. Offage is probably, it's still a major power, but it's taken losses to this smaller power here. Oh, that is a major power. Even though it's smaller. So the major powers are coming out of the woodwork now. Which is why I want to keep trying to get these guys on side. Right. Let's get this sorted. Uh... Citizen output is research, basically, which I don't need. Slave output is money, and pop growth is always useful, um, though I think for me that provincial loyalty is very good. Let's grab the military one, we're going to go for the same one we always go for, the army morale and reinforcement speed. And I can't quite afford that religious one yet, but we can now. Um, Civ level change? We don't need civilization at the moment. War exhaustion reduction is not bad. Omen powers, okay. We don't have any of them. Primary culture happiness is good. Makes everybody happier. Hmm. I mean, happiness is good, but I don't think my culture's unhappy. Loyalty gain. And that gives us all the other buffs as well. That should help this. There we go. Not a huge difference, but every little helps. And we can actually start getting inventions again, guys. Um... Uh... Yep, just ups wrong cold group happiness. That's worth doing. Unfulfilled provinces. Oh. He wants a position in court. Yeah, you can get something military, I guess. I, I can't remember who it was. It's him. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I don't really care about mercenary maintenance. Oh, he's actually leveled up a bit. You can, uh, pirates. Not for long, that's where those pirates are going. You can come down to here, you're going to cross. Because we are going to go to war again soon, guys. Uh, I, I, I've not got long to expand, because what time? Yeah, less than 100 years now, and I want to grow as much as I can in that time to, to show, prove the dominance of Albion here. Um, we will uh, look at taking all, I want to ta capture all of Gaul. Um, it's gonna be a good aim, so down to here, push up board of the Etruscans, for example. Um, and maybe even border with Saxonia, so I can go either way. Um, either way is good, actually. Um, I could take them, that would give me a nice big chunk of territory, or no, I think I'm going to do this war here, and capture that and all of this territory as much as, as I can, and then we'll look, look to our west. Oh wow, did another nation just appear? 
Oh, it's sure we are having a uh, little war again. Oh, I think Rome may be about to die for good. We've got a little bit there, but... As does Macedon. That's an interesting... Hmm. We will look at our next war. Because ideally what I want to do is start gobbling up, keep gobbling up all of these little nations. Um, I want to get a border with the Alps. Ideally I don't want Achoria to get through the Alps. Because if I ever fight a war with them, I can hold them in the Alps there where they will really, really struggle. Um, which would be beneficial. Right, let's get another foot decent, solid, built 30k stack out. Uh, to do this, we are going to pull a single unit out of here to build it off. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if that's 30k, but it's a nice big army. It's got a lot of heavies. It's not got as many skirmishers, but this is a very heavy force, so... Um, which is what we tend to be building now, because I've, I've got the money, and they are much better at what they're doing. Um, oh, monthly corruption reduction. I like that. Especially considering my leader has corruption. There you go, so that'll slowly burn off. That's actually quite useful. Corruption makes everything cost slightly more. Cavilius for cold. Ooh, he gains cold. Yeah. He's still got friends. Yeah, let's hold games to make myself a bit more popular. Uh, hmm. We're about to go to, to war, so I'm going to take the aggressive expansion change. Lofty ambitions. Persuade them to give up the dreams or give them their job, but we'd lose loyalty from the current philosopher. Who is better? Persuade them to give up on their dreams. We took a loss from that, but it does benefit us. Wow, they are getting battered by this smaller power. Though I suspect the petitioner approaches. Ooh, I want the oratory power at the moment. Right. See, they do kind of stick out, but I want to take this. So actually, I'm going to make a claim on here, because this was rightfully taken by me in the previous war, guys. Um, unless, will they? No. Almost do it. As soon as we can, we're gonna fabricate that claim. Um, they are in a defensively evil with them, and they are allied with... Someone? Them, and where are they? Turgia. Oh, tiny little nation there. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I'm not necessarily going to be able to get to them easily, but, well, we'll see. Gee, I... That's that one. So that's only 24. Let's get a few more units in here. Uh, a couple more bog standard skirmishers. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 
I mean, he's quite a well-rounded force, which means we've got all these things. Oh, we've got hit and run tactics now as well. I'm going to leave them in shock action. couple of armies this way. Oops, I didn't mean to hire them. No, oh, well, we've hired them now. You can actually go into Venter. I'm half tempted to hire those mercenaries, just so we don't have mercenaries close to us. No, I'm going to do that, and we're going to march them down here, mostly just to get rid of them. This is going to be a swift, vicious war, guys. We will take quite a lot of manpower lost from attrition, however. Because as we remember guys, previously, from the previous war, this territory is rightfully mine. Let's throw the mercs right at the front lines. Oh wow, you're meant to be coming down as well. I'm a bit confused as to how they're the war leaders because, as far as I can tell, they don't even exist. Oh well, never mind. Get our initial march underway. Pictonia, but it's not the same Pictonia, because we've had this before, there's multiple Pictonias. Ooh, reducing wages for characters seems good to me. You know what, I don't think they're going to win. Let's just check I've not done something with my laws. I'm being a little paranoid. Oh, we need to stick a pig as soon as we can. Nope, nope, my army maintenance is definitely fine. Go straight into that fortress, because if we take there, we take everything. You can chase them. Pictonia is no longer in this war, unsurprisingly, because they don't exist. And let's just throw ourselves in right into their heartland as fast as we can.
They are building up here. It's not really something I'm worried about. We're going to try and capture this little stack before it gets anywhere. Ah, damn. Let's hit them. Ooh, they have a navy. Let's rephrase that. Uh, da, 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 da. Hunt fleets. They had a navy. Ints to win there. I do need to watch them, but I'm not that worried by them. Could have done with a fortress here. I really am not being daft not building fortresses, but... I'm to start chasing some guys. You guys can head up here as well, please. Ooh! Let's have some fun! start dealing with people in my nation. Ah, they're just hiring mercs in my nation now. Didn't quite end up with a coalition I thought I'd end up with against me. But they are carpeting out there a bit because I didn't have enough people, really. Sorry about that. This is not going badly, guys. I, I let some through, which was my fault. As soon as here's one, that, that entire nation will fall. Um, our war score's going up, even though we've not captured the province because we're winning lots of battles, basically. Um, Pop all these guys on uh, defend borders. So they'll automatically go and do things. We should catch them. There we go. So that'll batter them. They'll have to leave my territory now. I thought you were already going there. Collapse, although ancestral articles for results for oversight of civic works. Ooh. Had them flogged. They let some of our buildings collapse. It's not on. You can come over here. Just keep an eye on things. We need that to get finished. More enemies captured. 
things are going reasonably. This is all um, impassable terrain, but we can capture stuff around it. Oop, you can pull up to here to deal with them on that fortress. You guys are fine, you're just going to start slowly moving into them. They are sending uh, slaves to the place I'm taking, and they're moving themselves right up into the corner there, which will trap them. You guys are going to slowly advance on them. These guys could possibly charge back into my territory, but I don't think they're going to. This is a nice, solid wall, which is going on another invention. I want to go down the military ones, because there are some things which are going to be beneficial for us. Um, reduce my naval maintenance, that's always useful. So, as soon as we capture there, all these places will be captured. Basically, they got a little break out there. They caused a little bit of problems, but nothing major. Nothing to really fret at Albion. This is the thing I still love, my population. While it's good, you look at Rome and places, it's nothing comparably. But it's slowly getting there. That is the one thing I think I lack, and I'm not quite sure I'm so keen on on the great power system. While I'm considered a great power, I don't really think I am. So these guys should be pushing forward to recapture terrain, wherever they're going. You can be put onto the same. Here should fall soon. Which will carpet that. And then, yeah, we should just be able to grab everything once this place falls as well. A new royal shooter. Which ups our sacrifice of gods. Oh, and our son is now the next heir. And he's got most of the support. Oh, he doesn't have all. He's only a baby. So babies are never going to have it all. Have it all. So we will accept. I don't see why I would ever not accept a trade. Veterans move on. Ooh, that's nice. And can we... Yep, yeah, stick a pick. That's the other siege wall. That place has been sieging for a while. I love the fact that here I've got rid of the barbarian strongholds by civilizing. There we go. Oh my god, we actually lost a battle over here. Not against an amazing army from the looks of it. But this is over. second we have here, we will be able to forcibly reduce, push this back. More people dying. Thankfully, unlike early, we've got much better and our resource search is quite good. Right, I'm happy to sue for peace at this point. We're obviously taking here, 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 and here. I could leave them with one, one bit of terrain. And all their money. 
that will completely destroy two nations. It will uh, get some stuff and it will mean we are squiggling down into some of the uh, mountains down. I don't know what these mountains are. They're not the Alps themselves. We'll start squiggling down. As I said, ideally I'd like to push down to here and uh, up to and along here. So I'll take this chunk of territory for myself. Anyway, we did eat through a lot of manpower there. Why, why did it not give us the money? Uh, nope, nope. Reducing it as much as possible. I really don't feel need. I need any more families. Oh, we are lacking a governor. Oh, local unrest. That's good. Because that is a new region we've got access to then. Aquitania. Um, oh, we already had that. Cubia. Oh, Celticia, sorry. Oh, no, it's here we've got Transpennine. So we have Transpennine Mountains. Uh, yep. Yeah. Nice. And everywhere, it's not everywhere is becoming happy, but we're getting there. Right, let's start getting armies back spread out. I will need to keep an eye on these for a while to get them into the proper places so they're not taking too much attrition, but we'll get that. Um, and then obviously, so there's going to be a bit of time as we chill out and get everything back in order now. But yeah. The only real threat, I guess it's something I should probably take a bit more seriously, is technically Saxonia could throw themselves at me with a mass naval invasion into, into Albion and I would be hard pressed to deal with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull a couple of ships off here. Just to keep an eye on their coastline. Uh, we may as well chuck generals into both of them. Oh, I probably shouldn't pick really high level people. Keeping people happy, having people employed makes them happy. Now just give us a bit more of a view of their of their North Sea assets. I mean they could if they were being crafty, this is the AI. Let's be honest, they won't be. They, what I'd do if I was a player is I'd build up in here to do an invasion. And certainly I would be considering it because um, I would suspect, I'd wait until I was at war and then I would look at just sending a mass force over to invade. Because, you know, that would actually work quite well. Uh, who are they allied? They have no allies. They're guaranteed by Churia. Oh. Ah. I would really push that high. Uh, I think we can take it. I think we can soak that. I can easily swallow these guys up. Um... this place so it's easy for us to capture. Let's pull everybody down again. This will be a nice fast solid invasion with all of my forces. Yeah, why not? I know I've still got some mercs. I'm actually going to hire some extra mercs as well. These guys are already at war as well, so they're going to be very overstretched. Uh, Atoria will be brought in. Don't know if they can get to us, but I'm not massively worried. Um... Oh my god, god, they're all the things we don't necessarily need. Hmm. This is going to be a very lightning fast war here, guys. Because I am having massive manpower issues now. This is probably biting off more than I should be, but...
We've got the forces, we may as well throw them into here. I'm not necessarily going to take it all, but we're certainly going to take a big chunk, at least here, and we're going to carpet siege here straight out. These guys are at war, so actually they've already been losing tech. I want them to recapture there, so I'm not actually going to hit there. So that's literally Etruria we're at war with. Oh, Carthage is at war with them as well. So this is going to be keeping Carthage on side a bit as well. Um, this is definitely some nice aggressive pushing from us. A lot of this is actually held by a... Uh... Oh. oh, that's already held by me because of the um, fortress. So we're already taken parts of their territory from our fortresses on the borders, which is quite nice. Well, you can take stuff off people because I'm not in the same war as them. I don't think it will work. But if we can get everything, you know, if we can capture down to the Pennines, then we can start gobbling people up to, to get that bit. And then we'll look at expanding this way. Even if I don't capture it all, even if I only get this chunk, that's still good for us. Okay. I am, however, crippling my armies at the moment, so if somebody else big were to go to war with me, this could become problematic. Etruria is the war leader here, so they're not going to really care about this territory. But I already control my war goal, which means that this is going to keep ticking. And it means eventually I'll be able to enforce peace. So by the time I've dealt with here... Ooh, hiring mercenaries behind us. Two can play that game, and I can do it with a bigger stack. Trying to come in behind me. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have hired those mercs, but we've got the income to hire lots of mercs. I could pro potentially hire even more mercs. After this war, we are going to need a big chunk of downtime, annoyingly. Um, but you know, needs must. We don't have enough time left in this game to be uh, subtle, so we are going to be very aggre as aggressive as we can. I see no need for real subtlety at this point. Well, overly use of subtlety. Um, we, you know, this is good terrain for us to capture. It's actually got, some of these places have got better populations, you know, and some of these places are where we want for uh, the, um, words failing me. I guess we'll go for all of those. There you go, hostile attrition plus one, that's good for enemies. Ooh, there's a revolt going on there. Right down into the Pyrenees here. 
we're just just training through them here. No, absolutely no need to stop, which is perfect. Um, you're going to pull up in there. We don't want them capturing anything there because that will stop them recapture. Ooh, 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 hit there now. So they actually lost a bit of territory to Carthage there. So we're going to have to have at least a small Carthaginian war at some point. I still haven't seen a single Achorian. Hardly surprising. However, I'm going to bring you down here. No, you can stay there. Just, we may see the Achorians sail around. And that's what I want to keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. That's the siege of somewhere wrong. I didn't even realise I was sieging somewhere. Here we go. I'm going to put all my armies on independent operations afterwards because they should automatically go find somewhere safe at that point. Can I buy a city off them? We don't like each other, but I suspect that you know, I'm going to have to cope with them having a little bit in my territory. And that's why I want to try and capture here quickly. now. Oh, you need to push out there. You guys can all be put on defend borders. You'll then push back into our own territory and find sensible places to be sitting. You can pull back to there. Even though I'm on defend borders, they're attacking. Okay, numpties. Oh no, they're marching out now. I was gonna say, if they stay there, we'll take huge amounts of attrition. Um, hit them. And they'll have, have to retreat all the way to Achoria. Um, oh, Octavius has grown. I was like, there's nothing there because my colour's so light. But yeah, no, I want to try and get this line. I know we've got a little Carthaginian colony. That's what Carthage does, to be fair. It, it, it puts little, co little, um, co little colonies around the place, which is really annoying. Um, is that them as well? And then we'll, I'll potentially actually work my way along the coast. Then up through the Alps, and then up this way. Though, timing-wise, we're really not going to have a huge amount of time to do that. I can get it all. Oh, not if I take the money. Guess there's an extra 27 aggressive expansion. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. And we'll find out what happens when you get far too much aggressive expansion, guys. What? What? Oh god, I keep hitting suggest because I think that means suggest it to them. Okay. So, Achoria has accepted. Oh, they not? I 
Did they have some ter territory somewhere still? Obviously, though, they are now a city state. Ah, oh, they've got a single territory down there! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oops, sorry about that. Um, okay. That's hopefully going to mean they're going to go out and find places which are sensible to be. We are happily keeping an eye over here on all of these guys' territory. I'm just going to strip off a couple of extra ships here. So we can quite literally watch all of their territory. Or their ports at least. We're going to sit there. Basically, I just want to keep an eye on the large movements of Saxons. And we, we definitely need to take some time now. Uh, that is brutal. Um, we're still okay. Somehow. Um, there is 0% of the population disloyal provinces. So, yeah. Uh, but we are going to have a lot of unhappy people. Um... Do you know, I say that. It's my, my capital is the most unhappy place because of all these slaves. <laughs> Let's do some assimilation to try and... Uh... That is the other reason I'm keeping an army sitting on top of there. Ooh, I want to get rid of my mercs. Well, the fact that these are Ilatovis, so this is somebody who used to, obviously used to be part of my nation. As soon as they stop moving. That'll up my income again. And these guys will spread out and get themselves sorted. And the guys I... No, no, those are the guys I just battered. But Albion is definitely getting there. But no, we, we definitely need to spend some time reducing that. That said, we're doing okay. I really could push it up a bit more. As I said, at this point, I think once my manpower is sorted to an extent again... Where are they all going? Are they all going to the same place? Right, let's sort this out. Because them all going to the same place is an incredibly bad idea. Now, I will need to keep an eye on them, and it's going to take us a long time to get our manpower back up. Um, where should I say that? We get 20,000, we'll reach a month, so that's only four months now. And we will be back at cap. And then, once they're back at cap, we will look, decide where to expand next. As I said, I think... They're in wars, they've got a few alliances around there. Yeah. That's kind of the perfect group for me to take. So it'll be actually technically be a smaller war, but it'll be against more people. So we'll go against this sort of coalition of powers here and rip through them quickly, which will give us the Pyrenees, the line on the Pyrenees. Um, which is actually perfect. Um, build a fort there. And there. So, I'm going to get rid of some of these forts. We'll 
we're going to build a few around here. Let's use the macro builder. He says, we're trying to work it out. Impossible terrain. That'll do for now, because that's we're not planning on going to all these guys just yet. So we're building ourselves a nice set of fortifications along here. He's doing a fine job. Um, why didn't we build one here? So when we do do this war, they're going to have less things. Aggressive expansion reduction, I think. Uh, oh, do any of these actually reduce aggressive expansion faster? I'm mostly going for military at the moment because we are mostly doing military, to be fair. Nice big bastion being, set of bastions being built along here. Which should come into play nicely in the next war because we'll auto capture quite a bit of territory as well. Obviously, we need to keep an eye on these guys because these guys are going to start taking attrition again soon. Um, Saxonia looks to be expanding. Let's do some more improving of opinions. Probably want to do that with Carthage as well. Now they are now our neighbours. They do not like us. So, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not massively worried about a war with Carthage. Because they'd be hard pressed to really hip pressure me where I am. They'd have to sail round. They probably do have quite an impressive navy, but I'd have time to build up. Um, oops, someone else has died. But I'd have time to deal with it. Basically, if Carthage went toward me, I would move my navy down here, and I'd probably move on to the gates of a uh, the gates of Hercules down here, and have a small navy up here, keeping an eye on them. And we'd just hold the line, and we'd we'd take here, and we'd um probably do some naval invasions over here but nothing major as I said and they've got other problems as well so we'll see how that goes it's just a matter of getting ourselves built up again now and with that guys this is where we are going to end it for today so as always Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are still enjoying this playthrough. We've probably not got many left before the end date, so it's going to be a mass. It's going to be very aggressive from here on, which may well cause issues internally with my stability. We'll deal with them as we deal with them. But I, I, I want to properly explode out now. We've got the capability to do that. Um, I can't buy manpower, can I? New. No. Um, does one of my military traditions give extra that one, which is would have been really useful. That fifteen percent, I've I've misunderstood how um, how useful that is. Um, anyway, um, so as I was saying, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Please feel free to pop any comments on the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. And uh, yes, Rome is pretty much gone. Um. 
But yeah, and, and thank you very much for watching, guys, before I get sidetracked again.